Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to um, use the MCS 1.6 Preset Maker tool by Denki Gaka. Um, so the first thing we're going to need to do is go to the Asset Store. Um, I'm already on this page, but if we type MCS, it'll come up and we'll see the male and female versions. Let's go ahead and start with the male. Um, now when you come into this, it'll probably say download if you haven't done it before, but if you've used these before, it'll just say import. I'm going to go ahead and import that. And um, after it decompresses the package, we want to click everything, so say import. And then it's going to ask us a cryptic message about upgrading. This is a new product, so we just need to say install, I'm ready. It'll go through and do this. Now this takes quite a bit of time, so um, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the point where this is done. Um, essentially what's going to happen in here is that we'll run a couple of um, install packages to install the core operating um, components for MCS and then install all the content for the mail package. Um, you can see that now it's starting to go through all the assets for the mail. So we'll go ahead and skip ahead here. Okay, so now we're back and um, we're going to go ahead and type MCS again. And this time we're going to pick the female set. Um, we're going to go ahead and click import, download if you haven't downloaded it yet. And once it decompresses the package, um, we want to make sure that we take everything in here. Um, and so we'll go ahead and click import. And again, it'll come up with that, that warning. Um, again, not important, just go ahead and install it. Um, the truth is, since we've already installed it once, it tends to run anyway, and uh, so it'll just go through and do its stuff. So we'll skip ahead again. So we're back. Um, you'll see now that if you look in your Morph 3D um, thing, you have content, resources, scripts. Really the only thing that you're really concerned with is the content. You should have an M3D male and an M3D female along with their two clothing sets and their hair sets. Um, basically, that's um, all we need to do there. The next step is to actually import the MCS 1.6 preset maker tool. Um, sadly, it's making this. I'm making this video before um, <laughs> before the um, tool is out. So if you search for MCS preset right now, you're not going to find much. Um, Later, if you do MCS preset, you should be able to find my product. For right now, though, I'm going to go ahead and import it with the custom package. Here, we'll just go ahead and import that package. There's not much to it. It's got two scenes and a few scripts. And um, you basically click import, and it will import. And now you have, in your assets folder, you have an MCS preset folder. And in there, you have the scripts folder that has the scripts that we use. Um, and then the demo scene and the preset maker. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and open the preset maker scene. And um, as you'll see, you've got the male and female right on top of each other in the menu. We'll go ahead and run that. And um, basically, once you're in here, you can do anything you want. You have um, groups for body, head, size, expressions. So let's zoom in on the face and let's do afraid. Oh no, she's afraid. Oh no, she's very angry. Um, confused. She's mad. Okay, disgust. Ugh. So whatever, excitement. You can, um, whoops, I grabbed disgust again. <laughs> excitement. So you can do whatever you want in here. Um, it actually has all of the vizemes to be able to do speech. Um, you can make her smile. Let's go ahead and give her a little bit of a smile. A little bit extra on the left side there. Um, and then you can actually go and play with other things like body. Let's see. We'll, um, we'll go ahead and give her breast natural so she doesn't look like she's been to the plastic surgeon. Uh, we'll go ahead and give her a little bit of fitness size so she's more muscular. Um, we can zoom out so we can see the body a little better. 
we could give her some height adjustment to make her shorter. We could make her a little bit heavier if we wanted. And um, basically then, if we gave this a, um, a name, we'll call it Heavy Natural. All right. And then we click Save Definition. You'll notice right here it tells you where this is being saved. Um, yours will probably be something like your name, app data, local low, and then default company like it is there. Um, if I click Save, that will actually go out and create a script. Um, let's go take a look real quick. Um, app data, local low, default company. Um, the project I called it was 1CS test, and you end up with a script like this that will go through, and um, basically it defines everything you need. It creates a um, an initialization routine, and then a toggle routine, and a zero all blend shapes that'll go through and clear out all the blend shapes for this control. Um, basically, um, that's how it works. You also have multiple mode where you could actually Say we wanted to save her in one, we'll reset everything, and um, we'll we'll go and we'll make another one. We'll say 10-year-old kid, and we'll do a size thing. And I do this one because my kids like it; they think it it looks cool. We'll make the big feet, and the big hand, and the big head. Um, one thing I do when I do these bobbleheads, I found if you make the neck length a little longer, it makes it look more natural than when the head's sitting right on the shoulders. So now we have a bobblehead. Um, you can rotate the model, whatever. Um, so, and we could save that in here. If you click on apply, you can switch between the different presets you have set up. And then if you called this um, I don't know. We'll call it Bob Test. And we click Save Definition. We go back to that same folder. And if we click on Bob Test, you'll notice now it has all the morphs we're using in both things, plus the two presets that we defined are defined here. We still have the initialization thing. We now have a toggle routine that will actually toggle based on the number. And we have the ability to force the shape so that it zeroes, um, uh, that makes it always true whether it was on or not. And clear all, clears all the other morphs so that um, it just does that. So um, basically that's, you, you also have reset all blend shapes which will actually go through and reset all the blend shapes um, that you're using. So. Um, that's pretty much it. So the um, the last thing we're going to show you is um, let's go ahead and get out of this and we're going to open the demo scene. Now the demo scene still uses the male and female and um, basically um, it comes with um, a preset and a single script already applied and You'll notice if you look at the at the characters, they also have um, a button manager script, which basically takes care of the input and calls the right thing. That button manager script is a good place to look if you want to see how to use um, the other scripts in your project, because you would basically not modify the demo or the the single or multi script. You would actually have another script that would get a reference to it, um, and then would actually um, well, why don't we go look at the button manager script real quick? Um, so we'll come in here, and um, if we look at the button manager script, basically in the start um, it gets um, the component for the two, the the multi and the single scripts that we have applied, and then it has a function called set shape where you tell it the um, the shape number you want to do, and then it calls toggle demo mail um, with true on both of those. Now you don't have to call those with true on both those, but for our purposes in this demo, that's what we wanted to do. It also has a toggle rotate, which just makes the guy spin around. So um, 
not much to that script, but it does show you how to call um, the thing by getting a reference to your script and then calling the functions in the script. Um, so we'll go ahead and turn these guys on rotating. Um, if we turn on the single, this one is kind of a bobblehead. This one kind of makes it more muscular. Um, we can zero that back out. And um, then we have different settings um, for each of the presets. These aren't particularly anything. They're just stuff to kind of show what we've got. Um, so we can go through this. And um, the cool thing is if we toggle the single while we're running, we actually can apply our single preset over the top of the other things. And so you can actually build a series of scripts that does different characteristics and apply them um, separately. Um, using the right settings in the multi presets, you can do that again. You can create partial presets and build a character out of multiple partials. And without too much trouble, you can actually build um, a series of multiples that could exist coexisting and um, be able to have a bunch of different presets. You can have hundreds of presets for each character if that's what you wanted to do. Um, so basically, that's the, um, the idea. That's how you set it up. And um, you probably would want to compile your, um, your preset maker and then just have it as a standalone tool that you could do when you needed to make a new preset for your character. And then you can apply it with a single function call. So that is the MCS preset maker and how to use it. And um, I'm Denki Gaka, and I appreciate your tuning in and listening to this. Thank you.